Hello and welcome Pisces to Letty Boo. If this is your first time here, thank you for showing up. If you're my subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. Okay, so Pisces, let's see what's on your mind. It seems like currently you've been kind of like stuck in a certain situation, okay? And during that time, you had the time to like kind of like gain a sense of what it is that you need to do, okay? Um you realize that something that you had to let go okay it could have been concerning something um in your past okay maybe someone from your past showed back up and you know you were trying to figure out was this going to bring you or is it going to bring you in your present energy is it going to bring you more harmony if you let this person back in okay because there's something that you regained a new outlook on okay and it gave you a chance to wake up to something okay and it has allowed you to let go of a certain thing in your life okay and now you're just remembering everything from the past and you want to know uh if this is something that you should keep or not but the thing is is you you may feel um you might have missed something or you're missing something, okay? Because this is your area for improvement, okay? This is your present energy and this is what's that's been on your mind. You've been stuck in a certain situation. So with this areas of improvement, it's saying, you know, don't be too impulsive, okay? You need to just go with your gut with this Queen of Cups, okay? Because you're very intuitive at this time, okay? And this is your strength. Okay, because you're empathetic and you you have deep feelings and you're emotionally connect, connected to a lot of things. Okay, and your emotions and feelings, you understand them very well. And that is a strength for you. But with improvement here, it's saying that don't be too impulsive. Okay, and um, don't be hurtful to yourself or insincere to yourself where it's going to um, do something um, out of your control okay and it's saying that yes um there is a lot of movement here okay we are taking action because you have two nights here and nights are about action okay but when you have this knight of swords it's about really strategically thinking about what it is you truly want to do and not to be impulsive before you act okay and this is in your area of improvement so whatever it is in your past that you're coming out of this stalemate or this stagnant energy from being stuck in really think through and go with how you feel intuitively on how you want to move forward in your upcoming energy you have this energy of um, following your heart okay you have this knight okay knight of cups and this is saying that either a proposal when it comes to relationships or when it comes to something that you really love um, may be in your energy or it could be someone um, that's attracted to you or something that you're attracted to it doesn't have to be relationships or it could be something that you really love to do that you kind of mesh with very well that is coming into your energy so just be aware of that your overall energy is here is the knots in relationships and that's saying that um before you tie any knots just make sure that it's something that is going to go along with your energy okay pisces before you advance to anything um think through what it is that you really truly deserve and what you truly value in your life before you um think about um closing this knot to anything or anyone okay and your overall card is releasing i move i move in harmony change me divine beloved into one who easily releases all that's ready to go let me move in harmony with your natural cycles okay so it's basically saying take your time go with the flow okay pisces um if anything in this reading resonated with you if um you can give me a thumbs up i would appreciate it thanks for being here pisces take care bye